Hey, this is Reg Kelly, Table in the Wilderness. I'm out here by a very scarred and very wounded walnut tree that's on our farm. And uh, But we've got a lot of fruit down here, but I'm going to talk to you today about this fact that though you may be scarred, though you may be wounded, you can still bear a lot of fruit. This tree's, I know, at least 40-some years old because it's on Karen and I's farm, and it could have been dozed down, it could have been cut down, but it bears a lot of fruit even though it's scarred. And I may be talking to some of you today that you're scarred by immorality you're scarred by rape maybe you've been molested abused maybe you're scarred by drug addiction liquor pornography i don't know what you've been scarred by you've been betrayed by friends you've been abandoned by parents uh, people that you loved have forsaken you I, I don't know but it's left scars on you and i'm just telling you this this tree has got tremendous scars on it look at it all the way down to the ground even but I want you to notice something here, that there's a lot of fruit. It's all over the ground. These are walnuts, and these walnuts, man, they taste good. You can make all kinds of baked goods with them. And this tree, in spite of its scars, still bears fruit. I want you to know that you can still bear fruit in spite of your scars through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus Christ was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities, and with the his chastisement of our peace is upon him, and with his stripes we're healed. And it's through his wounding that you and I have the fruit of eternal life. Because he took our sins upon his own self, and he died in our place, and rose from the dead, died and shed his blood, paid for my sin. And I have now the fruit of eternal life through his scars, through his suffering. And God wants to take your life and the scars that you have. And he wants to make it a fruitful life. So don't let Satan tell you that you can't have a fruitful life, even though you've got some bad scars. God uses the scars of our life, and you can bear fruit through it anyway. This Reg Kelly table in the wilderness, I know a wounded spirit who can bear, the Bible says. But even though you're wounded, even though you've been hurt and there's scars on your life, God can bear fruit through your life and in spite of those scars. I hope you'll listen to this. I don't care whether you've been raped. I don't care whether you've been molested, betrayed, lied to, slandered. It doesn't matter. Liquor, drugs, doesn't matter what has scarred you. Jesus Christ can still bear fruit through your life. He can do it. Let him do it. Quit whining. Quit complaining about your scars. Reach down to the Lord and say, God bear fruit through my scarred life. Put a smile on your face and keep trucking. This Reg Kelly table in the wilderness. We love you. Until next time, so long.